two circles touch externally the sum of their areas is 130 pi square centimeter and the distance between their centers is 14 cm the radius of the smaller circle is the given answer options are 5 cm 2 cm 3 cm or 4 cm right so basically two circles here touch externally and sum of their areas is given as 130 pi square cm so let's let's uh, understand the figure here this is circle 1 and let's say this is circle 2 let's say this is circle 2 well these do not look like circles but please adjust with the diagram there right so let's say this larger circle has got the radius uh, capital r and the smaller one has got the radius small r right why are we uh, touching these two circles externally because that's what is given here two circles touch externally now the sum of their areas is 130 pi square centimeter right you know that area of a circle is pi r square so we can say 130 pi is equal to sum of their areas right so pi capital r square plus pi small r square you getting it so pi gets cancelled so we know that r square plus r square equals to 130 what else do we know the distance between their centers is 14 cm right let's say this is the center of the first circle c1 and the center is c2 second circle now distance between the center c1 c2 this length c1 c2 is equal to 14 cm now if you observe c1 c2 is nothing but the sum of this radius radius right capital r plus small r sum of the radii will give you the distance which is 14 so basically we have got two equations and two unknowns can you solve these two equations yes solve the two equations and you get the required answer now solving is complicated for you if you find that uh, solving these two equations is going to take some time go by answer options nothing wrong what is he asking us to find out the radius of smaller circle for us the smaller circle is small r right radius of smaller circle is small r so just try and substitute the values for example if you take small r as 5 small r is 5 so what will be capital r capital r will be 9 because 5 plus 9 will be 14 now try to take the squares of these two values 9 square 81 pi square 25 is 81 plus 25 130 no so first option is ruled out take second option if you take small r as 2 that means capital r will be how much 14 minus 2 12 you are getting it we are using the second equation in the first place so small r is 2 capital r will be 12 now 12 square 144 2 square 4 144 plus 4 Is greater than 130, right? Not possible at all. Or, or for that matter, small capital R square itself is giving you 144. We have R square plus small R square is 130. So second option is also good. Take third option. If small R is 3, then capital R will be how much? 14 minus 3, 11. Check this. 11 square 121, 3 square 9. 121 plus 9 is 130. Yes or no? So option three satisfies both the equations, equation one and equation two. Hence, that can be taken as a correct answer. And we need not worry about option four here. Right, so that's how we can verify from the answer options. No need to solve the two equations. Now, if at all you want to solve, you have to use uh, the basic uh, algebraic identities, right? So, if you know that r plus r whole square will be r square plus small r square plus two r r. Substitute the value. So, what do we get? Uh, uh, you know, r plus r whole square, fourteen squared equals to R square plus R square, capital R square plus small R square is 130 plus 2 R R. You getting it? So from this we can say, what will be the value of R into R? 14 square 196, 196 minus 130 is 66. 66 by 2 is 33. So there's one more uh, equation that we have in terms of these two variables, R and R, 33. Now use R minus R whole square. So this will be R square plus R square minus To R R. So substitute the values. What do we get? See, R minus R is not known to us. We take it as it is. R square plus R square, capital R square plus small R square is 130 from equation one. 130 minus 2 into 33. So 2 into 33, 66. 130 minus 66. How much will that be? Uh, 64. So capital R minus small R whole square is 64. So capital R minus small R will be root 64, which is 8. So if you look at it now, equation two. And equation three. Equation two says the sum of the two values is 14, and equation three says the difference of the two values is 8. Now, can you simplify these two? Yes. Add two and three. Capital R or, or subtract two and three. We need small r, right? We are looking at smaller radius. So subtract the two equations. So capital R minus capital R zero. Small r minus of minus small r two r, right? So from two and three, what do we get? R plus r equals to uh, 14 minus 8, six. So, R will be equal to 
or you can find out capital R and then substitute back to find out small r. So this radius of the smaller circle is going to be 3 centimeters. But like I said, see, if you look at it, going by equations would definitely take a little longer. So instead, you just substitute from the answer options and verify which option satisfies the two conditions. All right.